Hello, welcome to TAB Forum. My name is Lori Burke and I'm a principal with TAB Group. And I have here today with me George Bodine, who's Director of Trading Research at Quantitative Services Group. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what it's like to be a trader these days. I mean, trading has always been about predicting the future. And you're trying to, no one can do it accurately, but what you're trying to do is at least uh, increase the odds in your favor. Mm -hmm. And so the data that the trader is using with that security is his own trade data with the algorithms Correct. Correct. that his firm uses. So I can see, for example, that I tend to choose a particular algorithm because I tend to think it's going to behave in a certain way, but I can go back and take a look at trade data that is in an, envi in an environment or a scenario very similar to right now yeah. and see if I was making the right decision. Yeah, I exactly. And it also, we, we have a tendency to, I guess, have the halo effect because when we're dealing with certain brokers or dealing with certain portfolio managers or dealing with certain algos that we feel comfortable with, mm. it, it forces us to look at different, it, it, it gives us a very um, uh, a, a fertile ground of information that we can go back and look at different circumstances and say, had I done this, and it, if we, there are other traders on our desk that are using different algos or different brokers, and if you've got different portfolio managers, you can just take a look and say, you know what? perhaps I should try a different algo or a different model. So it lets you open up your horizon to other uh, tools that may be of value to you that without this, you just don't. You get into a habit of just using the same broker, right. the same tool because you feel comfortable with it, but you may not know exactly how effective it is. So we let you look at other ones that are, that are there. Well, you just mentioned something interesting. So you mentioned the portfolio manager. Right. So I'm a trader and I receive an order from a portfolio manager. He has a particular style, he has a particular investment objective, uh, and the way his stocks behave could be very different from the portfolio manager sitting down the hall. So I've got some trade data, I've got some history on the decisions that I've made in the past, and I can take a look at how my choices have done in a similar market environment. But a growth portfolio versus a value portfolio versus you know growth at a reasonable price does that change the decision too yeah there's there's it's interesting i mean you've got some portfolio managers going to say you know don't buy it don't sell it don't hold it but don't miss it so <laughs> it gives you the ability to look at different portfolio managers who have different alpha models mm -hmm. and one may put tight limits on your order you're able to profile and look back at all these circumstances that they put limits on it and with our our model with our sync system you can say well what if I didn't have the limit on it and I just did a, a 10 percent PWP what would have happened it allows you to go back and discuss with the portfolio manager what ifs if in fact some put limits on by the same token some may be forcing your hand to be too aggressive because they say I want to buy it now and you look at it and all of a sudden you see that the stock reverts right after you're complete. So it gives the trader some factual information that they can use to go back and discuss with the portfolio manager why or why not their particular strategy that the PM you know, may not be the most appropriate in all set of circumstances. By the same token, you can also look at the brokers or algo that you're using and measure you know, how they're doing relative to the instructions that, that you provided. But more important, it gives the senior trader, the one who's running the desk and overlooking, you know, all of the traders that they're responsible for, the ability to mix and match and see which traders may work best in which set of cir circumstances. Very interesting. Yeah. So, so the, the time that we always spoke about where there'd be a much closer coordination of, of trade decisions and portfolio manager decisions right. is really starting to happen. It really is. We've got, um, we've got a product. We, we, we've offered a portfolio management product which gives a cost adjusted return on the um, stocks that they're selecting. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. they're buying a million shares, we will build in what we think that impact cost is going to be. So they will have a much better expectation level when they put the order in on the desk so that they just, they, it, it doesn't hamper the trader. The trader and the PM now have a reasonably aligned expectation of what they think the impact is going to be. 
we've also, because we're moving the PMs down in a little bit into the trading arena by giving them this trade data, we also feel that it's really important for the traders to understand perhaps why the portfolio manager is making mm -hmm. a certain decision. So we have a product which is in the sync product and they're all bundled together that is called Edge that categorizes the stock into the one of seven categories, growth at a reasonable price, you know, deep value, earnings momentum. And under each category, there are it's a rating from one to a hundred. The first one, if, if, if the number is in the top 20, that is the dominant category that it's in. But what's more important is we will show how that number has moved yesterday to today, a week to today, and a month to today. Most likely if you've got uh, a portfolio manager making a decision on a set of factors or variables, there's probably a lot of other portfolio managers globally maybe using that same set of circumstances. So it allows the trader then to see not only what's prompting that portfolio manager, but know what the competition level is going to be when they're actually working the right. order in the open market. All right. It actually okay. puts them in sync, if you will. In sync, you've got <laughs> it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, George Bodine, Quantitative Services Group, Director of Trading Research. And this is Lori Burkett, Tab Group. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.